Hello, Silvia. Disney. Hello, teacher. Yo te relajo, mi amor. Hello. How are you today? Good, teacher. And how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, hey, Thank perfect. God. Good evening, Rosa. How are you today? Very, uh, very good, teacher. Okay, uh, nice, nice. Already. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> the class. <laughs> okay. okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Rita? Fine, teacher. Nice. That's nice. Good evening, Sandra. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine. <laughs> like you. fine, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't oh, sound so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> it sounds like tired, but okay. <laughs> okay, good. I think it's because of the time, right? Because we feel kind of tired. Uh, we did a lot and during the day, and now it's time like relaxing time, right? So that's why we feel like that. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Did you listen the did you listen to the song I sent yesterday? Did you listen to the song? I shared a song yesterday for you to yeah. practice the listening. Yeah. 
It's a very nice song. What do you think? What do you think? It's one from adults. It's an adult song. Oh, Hello, what's it? Excuse me? Uh, I hear that you're settling. Thou, thou, you pong. I hear. Yeah. <laughs> the song. Good. Yeah, that's the song. <laughs> that is the song. So if you see, she's using the past tense because she's telling a story. She's uh, saying what she thought, what she did. Okay. And um, did you get the story? What is it about? What is that song, that song about? The name of the uh, song is Someone Like You. Someone like you. Uh, I like. <laughs> Did you like it? Okay, good. Good. Yes, it's kind of sad. Yes, it is. It's a very sad story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's missing somebody. Yeah, she's missing somebody she loved. You're right. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. What do you think, Elvia? What do you think, Rita, about the song? What do you think, Sandra? What do you think, Fausto, Sylvia, Walter, Carla, Leslie, Maria Fernanda? What do you think about the song? Did you ever hear the song? The song? Good evening, teacher. You didn't have enough. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, great. Nice to know. Nice to hear that. Okay, great. I Hello, think... Leslie. Oh, excuse me, Fausto. It's a beautiful song. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a very beautiful song. Yeah, and what do you think about the story? Um, Rosa said that this is a very sad story. Oh, only one. Okay, only one. <laughs> only once. That's the same to say, uh, uh, that's the way to say una vez. Once, okay? Once, una wow. vez. Solo una vez, only once. Okay? okay. Only Thank once, you. yeah. Okay, so you didn't have enough time to, to understand the complete story, okay? Okay, but yeah, this is a very sad story, a very sad experience. This woman is missing somebody, okay? She's missing somebody and maybe she was, uh... excuse me, Carlos Ernesto is sending, a text message. I am, oh, I'm here. Okay, there you go. Welcome, Carlos Ernesto. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Thanks. Great, great. I'm happy to hear that. We are talking about the song, the song I shared last night. Did you listen to the song? No, teacher. Oh, okay. Well, you may you may listen this. Uh, I mean, you may listen the song to 
I'm sorry. You may listen to the song tonight, okay? You are able to do it. This is for you to improve your listening and how to use the past tense, okay? For you to learn how to use the past tense in everyday English, okay? So now we are gonna start taking the attendance, okay? Let's see, Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Not yet, right? Okay. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. <clears throat> Carlos Ernesto Rogel. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Present. Okay. Uh, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Okay. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Ok, Rita, ok. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. San, eh, gracias. Thank you. Uh, Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Ok. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Ok. Dear students, we are going to start with the Okay, thank you, Walter. Okay, we are going to start today. I'm going to share the screen, okay? And today you are going to do something. This is just to remember how to use the negative form in the past tense. So we're going to read this. We're going to read these sentences and then I'm going to ask some, some one of you and another classmate is going to say the negative, okay? The negative form for these, for these sentences. Let's see. I gotta work on time. I gotta work on time. She had lunch with some important clients. She had lunch with some important clients. They opened the store. They opened the store. I checked my email. I checked my email. We called clients. We called clients. He wrote the reports. He wrote the reports. My boss organized the meetings. My boss organized the meetings. I attend the meeting. I attend the meeting. Okay, now please activate your audio and repeat after me. I gotta work on time. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, work, gotta work, work on time. On time. She, had, she had lunch with some important clients. She has lunch They opened the store. They, they opened, opened the, the store. store. I checked my email. I checked, checked my, email. Email. my email. We called clients. 
He wrote the report. He wrote the report. My book. Okay, uh, someone was in, we call clients. Next one is, he wrote the report. He wrote the report. The report. My boss organized the meetings. My, my, my boss organized the meetings. Organized. 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 Okay. My boss organized the meetings. My boss organized the meetings. I attend the meeting. I attend the meeting. Again, I'm sorry. It is I attended. I attended the meeting. I attended the meeting. I attended the meeting. I attended the meeting. Okay, do you have any question about these vocabulary? Any question? Sure. Yes, tell me. She had a lunch. It's like a, 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 it, it is on past. Yes, past tense. past tense. Past tense. Present tense, she has lunch. Okay. She, has she has lunch. lunch. Okay, past tense is had. Had is for all the persons. It, all, it's for all the pronouns. Okay, had. Had, past tense. If I can say in past, I, I have lunch. In past could be. I had a lunch. Yes, correct. I had lunch. Oh, okay. Yes, correct. Okay, thank so you. now, okay, no problem with Fredo. Now, what are we going to do? For example, Rita is going to read a sentence and um, let's see, Wilfredo is going to say the negative for that sentence, okay? Okay. We get it. Rita reads the center, the sentence, and uh, Wilfredo say the negative. Okay. 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 I gotta work on time. I didn't. I didn't got. I didn't get to work on time. Okay. Great. I didn't get. Get is the the infinitive form for. Uh, that verb, right? Got and the infinitive is get or the present is get. So I didn't get to work on time. Excellent, Wilfredo. Now let's see, Sandra and Carla. Sandra reads the sentence and Carla makes the negative. She had lunch with some import clients. <laughs> What do you think, Carla? What is the negative form for this sentence? She didn't uh -huh. has plunge. We don't with tongue import client. Okay, uh, everybody agree? Everybody agrees? Or is there anyone who thinks different?
What did we say yesterday? Okay, when is the third person and we are going to use didn't, we use the verb in the infinitive form or in the base form or the present. In this case, remember, we don't add is or we don't use the third person form, okay? What do we use then? Ah, uh, then we use the infinitive, right? So let me put it that way, this way. Uh, she didn't, any idea? Have or has? Have or has? Have. Have, have. have. correct. Have. She didn't have, correct. She didn't have lunch. In this case, I'm going to do a little, it is okay if you say some important clients because you don't know the other part at the moment. But if I will say that, I will say with any, okay? Because it's a negative sentence. I change this some for any because it is negative, okay? So with any important client, okay? Are we okay here? Any question? Okay, the positive way is she had lunch with some important clients. The negative, she didn't have lunch with any important clients, okay? If you say some important, I will say, yes, it is okay, okay? But if we try to make it um, near the correct thing, any, okay? Didn't have, it means didn't with the infinitive form of the verb or with the base form of the of the verb okay next one next one please rosa reads the sentence and leslie change into negative okay change into negative they, they opened the store They they did not open the store. Okay, what do you think, guys? Is it correct? Yes, but yes. it could be say uh -huh. they didn't. Okay, great. We're going to use as much okay. as we can the contractions. Okay, so it is didn't. It is okay if uh, you use did not. It is okay, but it's better if you use the contraction. They didn't open okay. the store. There you go. Okay. Next one, Elvia reads the sentence and Sandra says the negative. Okay. I check out my email. What do you think, Sandra? Hello, teacher. What do you think in the negative form for I checked my email? Come on. 
Mm. I did check my email. In the negative, I, I did not did, didn't. Okay, I didn't check. Okay, correct. There you go, Sandra. There you go. Next one, Eva reads the um, sentence and Maria Fernanda change, changes the sentence into the negative form. We call it clients. We didn't call it clients. Okay, everybody repeat. We called clients. We called clients we call clients there we call clients okay. Mm -hmm. okay. call, call, call. and maria fernanda said we didn't call okay clients. we didn't call clients there you go Next one, please. Walter reads the sentence and Angeli is going to change into the negative form. Okay. She wrote the report. She didn't grow the reports. Great. She didn't. Mm -hmm. Right, the report. Excellent. Right, it's the infinitive of form of the verb. Um, I'm sorry. You didn't write the reports. Okay, excellent. Next one. Let's see. Fausto reads the sentence, and Sylvia changes it. Okay. My boss organized and the meetings. My boss didn't organize the meeting. Okay, great. There you go. So everybody everybody thinking in this last one. I attended the meeting. What will be the negative form for that sentence? I attended the meeting. Everybody thinking and anybody can answer. What do you think? I didn't uh -huh. attend the meeting. Excellent, Elvia. I didn't attend the meeting. Okay. Okay, there we go. So this is the way to express something that didn't happen in the past, okay? Something that wasn't able to be possible. So let's see. I'm going to erase this here. And let me show you the next one. For you to take note, if you wanna take a picture or a, a um, yeah, screen shot, you can do it. Okay, there you go. Oh, there is a problem here. It's not too. Chip. Okay. 
Okay, now we are going to do a little exercise. Uh, let's try to do it in order, okay? Don't lose the order here. Let's see here. Elvia, Fausto, Silvia, and Angeli are going to say the positive. And Carla, Rita, Rosa, Wilfredo, Maria Fernanda, Edward, Sandra, and... Leslie and Walter are going to say the negative, okay? So, got it? Ready? Let's start. I got to work on time. I, got to work. I didn't get to work on time. I didn't get to work on time. Next one. She has she long with some important time. She didn't have lunch. She didn't have lunch didn't with all the clients. Time for clients. Next. They, they opened open the, store. the store. They didn't they open, didn't the, open didn't the store. They didn't open the store. I checked, I checked my email. email. I didn't, I didn't check my email. Didn't email. Check my email. <clears throat> we called. We called call fine. We didn't call. We didn't fine. call. We didn't call fine. He wrote, he wrote the, report. the report. He didn't, he didn't write, write the report. report. My boss. My boss organized the meeting. My boss, my boss, boss didn't, didn't organize the meeting. Organize the meeting. I attend. I attended. I attended. I didn't attend the meeting. I didn't attend the meeting. I didn't attend the meeting. Okay, now let's switch. Okay, let's switch. Let's start. Okay. I didn't I got to work online. I didn't get to work online. She, she has lunch, has lunch with, with some important, important clients. Important clients. She, she didn't have, have, have lunch with, with an important, 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 important client. Important they opened clients. The store. They opened the store. They opened the store. They didn't open, they didn't open the store. I, I checked I my email. I checked my email. I, my email. Email. I, didn't, I didn't check my email. We called we client. We called we call client. client. We didn't, we didn't call, call client. client. He, he wrote, wrote the, the report. report. He wrote the report. He didn't write the write report. Didn't write the report. My, my boss, boss organized, organized the meeting. Organized the meeting. Uh, my boss, boss didn't organize the meeting. I attend. I attend the meeting. I, attend the meeting. I didn't I attend, attend the, meeting. the meeting. Okay, good. My boss organized the meeting. Good, Walter. Excellent, Walter. So I attended the meeting. Good. Okay, good. So now let's see. This is very important for you to check and to be careful with the pronunciation of the regular verbs. Okay. For example, here we have a verb that ends in a letter N, and it's a voiced sound at the end. Open, N, if you touch your tongue, I mean, your throat, you are going to feel the vibration here. Can you touch your, your throat and say, open, open, open. 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 Do you, do you feel the vibration there? It means. Vibration. Yes. Open. Yes. Open. 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 Open.
open. Okay. It means it means that it is voiced. Okay. It is voiced. So the correct pronunciation of this is a letter D at the end. Opened. Okay. Okay. Opened. Open. 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 Yes, we don't say open it. We say opened. Okay. Open. Open. But now open. let's see this other verb. Check. Open. Check. 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 Touch, touch your throat. Check. Feel Check. on your throat. Check. 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 It doesn't Check. vibrate. Check. Right? Check. 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 And it's explosive, right? So we need another explosive sound. And we say, checked. Checked. Check. We finish with the letter T. That's the pronunciation for this ed ending when you have a letter k at the end for example okay checked 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 check. now check. let's see check. call oh touch your throat oh, oh. oh. La, 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 right oh. <laughs> Ya me dio miedo. Oh, oh, oh. Why? <laughs> I was joking. Why are you afraid of it? Mama. Okay, Yo then. Cold. 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 Yeah, Cold. with a letter D. Cold. Yes. Cold. Uh, Cold. Uh, Cold. 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 Okay, Cold. yes. Cold. There you go. Now. Uh-huh. Excellent. So now let's try you, please, everybody, try saying this one and feeling your throat. Feeling your throat. Organized. 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 What do you think is the correct pronunciation of that ED ending? Z Organize. Okay. Organize. Does it vibrate? Organize. Does your throat vibrate? Organize. Yes. Organize. Okay. Organize. Organize. Then we are going to say just like this one, right? Opened. Organized. 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 There you go. So if you see, we have another here. Attend. 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 It's voiced. It's voiced. But we have a letter D at the end. D. It feels that we need ED at the end. Okay. So we are going to uh, pronounce this verb. Attended. 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 Yes, correct. So Attended. when we have a verb that ends with a letter D or with a letter T, as I said before, transport, right? Do you remember transport? Transported, okay? transported, attended, okay? We use it at the end, correct? Okay. So now let's see something that it is very interesting, okay? About the irregular verbs. That was with the regulars, okay? With the regulars, it's very important, the pronunciation. And the irregulars, we need to recognize, we need to recognize three cases. In this case, for example, there are some verbs that they change. They change completely. For example, do you see here? Go, went. When. Right? What's the past for go? Went. When. What is the past for have and has? Have. Have. Had, okay, had. 
Remember, it's a letter D at the end. Had. 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 Now, let's see what is the past tense for buy. Both. Excellent. So if you see these verbs change completely. Now, we have other verbs that they don't change. They don't change. It's the same word, the same spelling, and the same pronunciation, okay? They, they don't change. For example, we have cut, cut, cut. okay, uh -huh. cut. Imagine cut in the past tense will be the same, cut. It doesn't change. Cut in the present, cut in the past tense. It doesn't change, okay? Now, bet is the same. It doesn't change. Bet, bet, okay? Bet in the present, bet for the past tense. Now, let's see, let. Let doesn't change either, okay? Hurt, hurt, hurt. It doesn't change. I hurt my knee today and I hurt my knee right now. Okay, so past tense is the same as the present tense. I'm sorry. Present tense is the same as the past tense. Now, let's see. Quit. Do you know what quit means? The meaning for quit. Can you say the meaning for quit? When you give up, right? When you give up quit do you see here quit for example you are working and they um mm, got you tired right and you say i quit right it doesn't change it doesn't say change even though you are going to find uh, uh and there is another uh form for that verb okay maybe you are going to find Quit it like this. Okay, <laughs> quit it, but it's not common. It's not common. The common way is that this doesn't change. Okay, and it's the same. Quit. Now let's see. Put, put, put. Yes. Okay. Put on your sandals. I put on my sandals. Right. Uh, now let's think yesterday. Yes, I put my sandals on yesterday. Okay, it's the same, put and put. Now let's see, there are, there is a very interesting case. There is a very interesting case for the verb read. I think it's the only verb in English that has this case we just pronounce different the past tense for example is the same spelling is the same spelling in the present we say i read a book right i read a book yeah. now thinking about the past tense i read that book i read that book the pronunciation is different, but the spelling is the same, okay? The spelling yeah. is the same, R-E-A-D. The spelling is the same. So I read a book, right? I read a book. I read a book. I read a book. I read a book. Yes, I read a book. But yesterday, I read that book. Okay, I, I read, read that book. That book. The pronunciation is just like the color, just like the color, the red color in the past tense. Okay, I read right. that book. Okay. Yes. And then we have another verbs that you are going to find that um, in American English they are with one spelling or with one form. And in British English, you are going to find them in a different form. So we call them these like they are regular and irregular at the same time, okay? 
They are regular and irregular at the same time. I have some examples here. Burn, 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 burn. Okay, for example, uh, for last Christmas, my mom burnt, burnt that burnt. turkey, okay? Uh, my mom burnt that turkey. So we can say burned or burnt, and it is correct, okay? Burnt, burned burnt. or burnt, and it is burnt. correct. Burnt. Yes. For British English, maybe you were going to find them with the letter T at the end, okay? Instead of the AT. Correct. Dream. I had a dream, right? Or I dream. I dream. I dreamed. Dreamed or dreamed. Okay, and it will be the same. And it will be the same if you use the one with ED or with a T. Okay, this is just for you to know and it helps you to memorize, to memorize the verbs because that's the only way to master this. We have to memorize and with the practice, we are going to find out which is the past tense for each verb. So let's continue in our manuals. Let's go to our manuals. Okay, page 33, I think it is, or 32, 32, 32. Okay, now let's read this. What questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you know? What questions do you generally ask a customer to confirm information you already know? What do you think to confirm the information? Do you have any idea? Let's go back here and let's remember this conversation, okay? Okay, do you remember this conversation? Yes, I remember. Okay, now let's think about a product. For example, continuing from here, okay. Um, what do you think it will be a good question to confirm the quality of my product? Mm -hmm. Do you like do you like the product? Maybe teacher. Oh, that's a good question. That is a good question. Now let's think in the past tense because at the time oh. this customer used the product okay. already, right? So uh, in that case, we could say, for example, did right? Did you like? Okay. Did you like the product? Imagine that you are doing uh, running this survey after this family went to um, to um, amusement park to an amusement park, and you ask the father, maybe right, and you say, "Did you enjoy this experience?" Okay, 
Did you enjoy this experience? Okay. What other question do you think? Imagine you are at the supermarket right now. You are at a supermarket and the display or the displayer wants to ask you something about the cheese, for example, about the cheese. They gave you a sample yesterday and today you went to the supermarket and they say something. We have the question here, okay? Did you like the cheese? Because they gave you a sample, right? They gave you a sample. Did you like the cheese? Okay. Another? Another product and another question? What do you think about a program from your computer? Uh, teacher in the yes. in the supermarket. Okay, in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Did you take the offer? Oh, good. Did you take the offer? Okay. Did you find all your product? Excellent. Did you find all the, uh all your? Okay, I'm going all to product. use your. I'm going to use your words. Okay. And then we are going to, did you find all your products? We could say, did you find all you need okay. or needed? Okay. Sorry, there we go. Okay, did you find all you needed? Good. Another question? Another example that you think they could ask or you could ask to a customer. I think it's very difficult for me here to see. Let's see if we can change the color here. It doesn't give me another color here. I need it black. No, it doesn't give it to me. Oh, for me. Oh, God. Okay. What do you think the answers could be for these questions? What would be the answers for these questions? Did you like the product? Rosa, did you like the product? Did you like the meal? Okay, did you like the milk? Excellent. Another question. Now let's think about the answer. What would be the answer? Yes, I like the product. Okay, excellent. Yes, I liked the product or the milk in this case, right? But in a short answer, we say, yes, I did, okay? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, thank you, okay? Yes, I did, thank you very much. Now, let's see if you didn't like the product, what will be the answer? If you didn't like that milk, oh, nasty milk. Uh-huh. What will be the answer? No, I didn't, Tishan. Excellent. No, I 
didn't. There you go. Let's see. Did you enjoy this, this experience? Yes, I did or no, I didn't, okay? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Excellent. There you are. Did you like the cheese? Yes, I did. Excellent. And the negative answer? No, I no, I didn't. Excellent. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, maybe. Um, Yes, I like, or no, I like. Okay, if you use like, you are going to say the complete sentence. Okay, complete okay. answer. And you have to use the past tense. Okay, can you tell me the complete sentence? Yes. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I like the cheese. Excellent. Yes, I liked the cheese. There you go. You can use the short answer or the complete answer. <laughs> Have you ever heard this, uh, this answer? They say, no, I didn't. I loved it, right? You get it? It's kind of a joke huh? because they say, no, I didn't. And the other person, the listener is saying, oh, I loved it, say the other. Oh, yeah, okay, then they cheer you up, okay? <laughs> it's very interesting. ¿Sí les ha pasado eso? Teacher, uh -huh. eh, in this case, is yes, I love it, or yes, I love that? Loved it. Loved okay. it. Yeah, for example, if you say, this is a joke, okay? Because usually you say, yes, I did. And you don't uh, make any trick yeah, with the person you are talking, right? But uh, in this case, this is a joke. Uh, your, maybe your kids, uh, they usually do this, okay? No, I didn't, right? No, I didn't. And you are like, oh, Okay, and then they say, I loved it. Okay, there you go. No, I didn't. I loved it. Remember the pronunciation is with a D at the end. Loved, that is why you feel that I said, I love that, but no, it is, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Now, Okay, this is for you just to take note of the way to ask some questions that you only want a confirmation, okay? A confirmation or, or also you just want a short answer. Yes or no. What do we use? Did at the beginning of the sentence. Did you like the product? Did you like the milk? Okay, now let's see. We're gonna do a little exercise before continuing with the activity in the manual, okay? Now, let's see. I'm gonna share the screen. And I'm going to ask some questions, okay? And you are going to answer, all of you. Okay, there you go. Did you sleep well last night? Did you sleep well last night? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, let's see. 
Did you sleep well last night, Silvia? Yes, I did. Okay, great. That's nice to hear. So you are not tired today. So next, let's see. Did you sleep well last night, Fausto? Yes, I did. Okay, now let's see. Did you sleep well last night, Carla? No, I did. Oh, sorry to hear that. Are you tired today? Are, are you tired? ¿Estás cansada? ¿Está cansada hoy? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Okay, because it's a follow-up question. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to ask another question. Did you go to your office today? Did you go to your office today? Let's see. Did you go to your office today, Rosa? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you go to your office today, Edward? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you go to your office today, Elvia? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you go to your office today, Sandra? Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, did you work from home? No, ma. Today work in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. So you didn't go to your office, so you had to go out. Okay, excellent. So now let's see. Did you have a healthy breakfast today, Elvia? Yes, I did. Okay, great. Did you have a healthy breakfast today, Leslie? Yes, I did. Okay, what did you have for breakfast? Anyway, <laughs> by the way. Did you have some fruit for breakfast? Any fruit? Yogurt? Oh, is that a healthy <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> Great. Yeah, very healthy for Salvadoran people. That's the that's the healthier breakfast that you may have. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Chicharrón. Chicharrón pork. Okay, good, good, good. Nice. So did you have a healthy breakfast, Edward? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> good. Did you have a healthy breakfast, Sylvia? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. I believe you, but what did you have for, for breakfast today? Uh, I have uh -huh. uh, fruit for oh. breakfast. Okay, good. You see, you see, follow that example, guys. Leslie, look. <laughs> That's a healthy breakfast. Okay, now let's see. Did you do your homework, Wilfredo? Not yet, teacher. Oh, okay. So you've got to do it. Now, did you do your homework, um, Sandra? No. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> so what are we going to do? <laughs> today and today. today. Oh, okay. You should <laughs> do it today. Yes, that's true. <laughs> okay, now, did you do your homework, Fausto? No, I didn't, teacher. Oh my God, <laughs> what are you waiting for? You've got to do your homework every day after class. So let's see, did you do your homework, Francisco? <laughs> no, not yet, teacher. <laughs> oh, okay, I, not yet. I do um, for after, after the class. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Okay, you were going to do it after the class. Good. Did you do your homework, Walter? No, I didn't. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, now you see. Make another question, teacher. Oh, okay, I'm going to change the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to change the question today. This is going to be the question for every one of you, okay? <laughs> okay, remember, please, do your homework every day after class. So it means when we finish, then you do your homework and submit it on the platform, okay? So let's see. Did you have dinner before your English class? Uh, let's see. Angeli, did you have dinner before your English class? Yes, I did. Okay, great. Great, so you are happy now. Now let's see, Elvia, did you have dinner before your English class? Okay. No, I didn't. Okay, we read your lips. <laughs> okay. Did you have dinner before your English class, Maria Fernanda? Yes, I did. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's see, did you have dinner before your English class, Rosa? No, I didn't. Okay. After, after class. <laughs> okay, great, great. After class, I am going to have dinner after class. I am going to have dinner after class. Okay, great. Excellent. So let's continue and let's go back to the manual. Okay, let's go back to the manual. Oh, it's nine and seven. So let me take the attendance first and then we are going to do the activity in the manual. Okay, Angeli Coronado, Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Okay. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Aileani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo, Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Ok. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado mm -hmm. Rivera. Present teacher. And William Isaac Montoya Ávila. There we go. And let's continue and let's go to the manual. Manual. We are going to read these two different experiences with two different companies. Okay, Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres. Okay, Mr. Torres. Okay, there we go. Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres. And let's read. Let's read the experience of Mrs. Mendoza, okay? I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Okay, let's read it again. I had a problem with the payroll system, 
but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Now let's listen to the experience of Mr. Torres with a different company, okay? I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my, to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then I started to engine, and everything was perfect, okay? Now, again, I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem, too. He gave me details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine, and everything was perfect. You get the ideas? Do you yes, have teacher. any question about the vocabulary? What is payroll? Payroll is uh, an accounting, an accounting system where you check the amount of every employee earns, okay? So we are talking about money for the employees. The salary of the employees. The salary, good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's an accounting system. Thank you. Okay, good. Teacher, I didn't know what I mean in engine, but I, I, I look yeah. in my translate. Oh, okay, good. Know. Yeah. But... Okay, great. You learned a new, a new word today. Yeah, yeah. excellent. So, any other question about the vocabulary? What is the meaning of kind? Really kind? Really kind. Uh, that he was good to this person. He's, uh, he used good manners and he was happy. He was nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? Who wants to read the experience of Mrs. Mendoza? He, he has a bad experience teacher. Oh, yes. Do you want to read it, please, Francisco? Do you want to read this experience, please? Do you want? Uh, the Mr. Mendoza. Mrs. Mendoza, yes. Mrs. Mendoza, yes. Okay, uh, go ahead. I had a problem with the payroll, the payroll system, but the technician came to help me with it. He solved it but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand. understand. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Very good, Francisco, very good. Charged, charged. He even charged Third. me, yeah, charged. There he even charged. Charged. With the, uh, in the end. I, I will say a T, charged. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. He even charged you. Charged me. Mm -hmm. Good. So now, who wants to read Mr. Torres' experience? Who wants to read it? Go ahead, please, Wilfred. OK. 
okay? I have problem with the cars and I have problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me detail about the, the incident and he gave me a report of then I start the I start the engine engine and everything was perfect. Okay, good. Started, started. That's in American English. We say started. Okay, started. then I started. But we can also say started. Okay, started. started. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, remember that. So yes. So now let's think about this. Okay, did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with the method of payment? Be sure, a uh -huh. question. Yes. The, the payroll is not a software. Yes, it is because it's a system. She says the payroll system. Mm -hmm. Payroll system. Yes, it is. Now let's see number two. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No. no, he didn't. Okay, no, he didn't. No, he he didn't. didn't. It was another, it was a company, right? Because it says, so I called for assistance. And he doesn't say, the, mec the mechanic was my friend. No, it says the mechanic was really kind. Okay. Now, let's see. What other questions can we ask about the experience of Mrs. Mendoza? Just to confirm this story. Yes, bro. Uh-huh. What the about problem, the problem? The Mrs. Mendoza is a piece, a piece, a he broke. Okay. Did the technician break, right? Break a piece? The technician uh, help, help. Uh, for piece uh, broke. Okay. <clears throat> the problem here that you are pointing is that the technician broke a piece, right? The technician broke a piece, right? So okay. if we ask for that information, just to confirm it, we could ask, did the technician break a piece? Did the technician break a piece? Did the technician break a piece? Okay, then the answer is what you said. The technician broke the piece, okay? Yeah. There you go. But confirming this, um, the problem, it wasn't that the piece was broken. Uh, the problem here is that the technician charged, charged Mrs. Mendoza for a piece. He was uh, guilty for breaking, okay? So let's see. Did the technician huh, uh, charge 
for the piece he broke. Okay, here we are just um, asking questions, confirming this information, okay? Confirming this information. For example, you are the one who is going to talk to Mrs. Men Mendoza, for example. And you come and say, uh, did the technician come to help? Okay, did the, did the technician come to help? There you go. Uh huh. Let's say come, okay, even though it could be go, right? Come to help. And what is going to say, Mrs. Mendoza? Oh, yes, the technician came to help me with it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Okay, and then the Mrs. Mendoza is going to tell you the technician came to help me with it. But what was the problem? Okay, did the technician Wait a arrive uh, on time? What will be the answer? The one that Mrs. Mendoza say, he came very late, okay? He came very late. So if you see, we're just confirming, confirming. You were talking to Mrs. Mendoza and you ask some questions, okay? Now, let's see here. Let's see here. Let me erase this first. I always forget to do it before. So now let's go to the next page. Let's go to page 30. Four, okay, page 34. This is the structure, okay? This is the structure for questions that we usually ask to confirm information. You are looking for some short answers, okay? You are looking for some short answers. And also you are looking for an explanation, but with a confirmation of your um of the information okay so let's see did you call a mechanic to check your car did you call a mechanic to check your car what will be the answer yes i did yes i did or, or no i did, I did. Or not. okay okay so, but if your car is in good conditions, you are not going to call the mechanic, right? So, no, I didn't, okay? So, let's see, did you call a mechanic to check your car? Yes, I did. Yeah. Or, no, I didn't. <laughs> now, can you read the other, please, Wilfredo, the next one? Did you pay extra money? What will be the answer for that question, Wilfredo? Uh, yes, she didn't. Uh, we cannot combine yes and didn't. We say yes, she did, or yes, no, she, she did. didn't. Yes, she did. Okay. Now let's read the other one, please. Elvia, next one. Did we receive a report? Okay, did we receive a report? Did we receive a report, Elvia? Did we receive a report? Now, what will be the answer for that question? Yes, we did. Or? No, we didn't. Excellent. Now, Fausto, please. Next one. 
Do you taste in the letter? Okay, it is. Did they sign the letter? Did they sign the letter? What will be the answer for that question? Yes, they did. Or? Or no, they didn't. Okay. Now, let's see. Do you have any question about how to ask using the past tense? Remember, did goes at the beginning of the sentence or of the, in this case, of the question, okay? At the beginning of the question, you are going to find did. So you are going to use did and your answer. Yes, they did. Yes, we did. Yes, she did. Yes, I did. Or if it is negative, your answer, then you are going to say, no, I didn't. No, she didn't. No, we didn't. No, they didn't. Okay. Any question about this at the moment? No question. Okay, then. So far, so good. Now, we are going to break out in rooms and you are going to do this exercise, okay? What are you going to do? You are going to create a question based on the answers they provided you, okay? For example, number one, let's see. Yes, I did. I sent an email. Which one do you think it's going to be the question here? Uh, maybe, did you send the email? Okay, good, good. Got it, everyone? Yes, sure. Okay, then yeah. I'm going to uh, leave this thing here and let's make the... And there you go. you uh -huh. send the email yes, did you send did, did you send the email yes. 
O sea, con, lo que, con la oración que tenemos ahí, tenemos que crear la, 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 la pregunta. Hay que crear la, la pregunta. Sí, porque... Create the question. Ahora dice, I didn't, I send the email. Ok. Create the eh, question. Ese, ese es la... Uh -huh. eh, 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 teacher, a uh, question. Is it is correct? Did you send an email? Yes, it is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So you have to create the questions according to the answer you have there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Continue. Number two. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Did did they? Number two. Check the package. Check the package. This could be, did they check the package? Yes, yes, it did. So the, uh, mm -hmm. they, they check the package, right? Because the answer is no, they no, they didn't. didn't. Mm -hmm. They didn't check the package. Yes, no, they did. Uh, number three. Uh, okay. to know again. Copy of their signature receiver. Mm -hmm. Did we receive a copy of their receiver? Receiver. A copy. Receive, verdad? Hola. He received sin la ende. Ajá, ajá, sí, sí, en verdad. Ajá. Did we receive? No, verdad, no era así o sí. Esa es solo, solo, es que estaba así, solo, la otra es receive, no lleva la, la D, solo en la primera, digo, o, o, o lleva ahí la, la E, D. Solo la D no lleva. Recibe. A copio. Uh -huh. ¿Lleva la, la, e, la D al final o no la lleva? La D no. No, no ¿verdad? No. Recibe solamente. Recibe a copio o de receive. Remember to use your vocabulary. <laughs> ed, ed ending, ed ending. Remember. Ed ending? Uh, no, it doesn't have it. It doesn't take where? it. Where? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when, when you ask a question, when you ask a question, remember that you are using did, did. It means yeah. that you are going to use the infinitive or the base form of the verb, okay? So for example, no, they didn't receive it, right? No, they didn't receive it. Ah, then in the question, did they receive without the ED, without, okay? Continue yes, girls, you are doing a great job, but use your vocabulary yes. girls, practice, practice, please. Okay. Number five, did he buy a new buy a new tie? Uh, number five, did he buy did a new tie? Did 
Did he buy? Did he buy? Uh -huh, buy them. A uh -huh. new tier. A new tier. Uh -huh. T-shirt. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, I have a question with the homework in the okay. platform. Okay, tell in, me. In homework number 15, mm -hmm. uh, there are no instructions. Oh, really? Yes. And I don't know. What to uh, do there? Exactly. Okay, just let me. I will check and then I will tell you, okay? Because sometimes maybe if you are doing this from the cell phone, I think you are going to be this yeah, no, kind of trouble. My, my computer. Okay, just let me check and then I tell you, okay? okay. I'm, go I'm going to leave the room right now. You are doing a great job and then I'm going to tell you, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Okay, one moment because I'm checking the platform at the moment. Okay. Okay, yes. Um, yes, it's true. It doesn't have the instructions there. What you have to do is just to uh, transform those negative into positive sentences, okay? Maria Fernanda asked me the, about the homework number 15. It doesn't have instructions on the platform. So the instruction there will be uh, transform these negative sentences into positive sentences, okay? Or affirmative sentences, okay? Make note about that because I think it's not going to show in your in your profiles. It's not going to show up in that way. The instructions, instructions is to change or transform those sentences that are in negative way into a positive or affirmative form. But teacher, yes, tell me. But I did that and it came out wrong. Ooh, ooh. Okay, then maybe there is a glitch on the system. I'm going to confirm today. Okay, tonight. I'm going to confirm tonight with the tech support team. And then I tell you, because in my profile as instructor, I've got it correct. Okay, I've got it correct. So maybe there is a glitch on your profiles as students. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Yeah, because it's the same as I see here. Okay, uh, just uh, to confirm, Maria Fernanda, you wrote the complete answer, I mean the complete sentence, or just the verb? A complete sentence. Okay, because it should uh, give you, let, let me, 
Let me try again, okay? And let's see if it works that way here. Oh yes, it 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 get it wrong. It get it wrong. Okay. And mine too. And mine too. But that's what it is supposed to do. Okay. That is what it is supposed to do. So let me confirm that with the tech support team because something is happening on the profiles. Okay. And I let you know. So homework 15, you may wait. Okay. <laughs> exonerated <laughs> of homework 15 at the moment at the moment then I'm going to confirm okay maybe they changed the the roles over there okay continuing guys continuing here let me go No, it's not here. Just one moment. I'm going to ask you some questions about this song. So let's take these minutes to listen to the song that I shared yesterday, okay? Do you have it handy? Go to the group and you listen to the song over there, okay? Someone like you. You may listen to the song and also there you have the lyrics, okay? There you have the lyrics. Let's take this moment to hear the song.
Okay, guys, it is supposed you are going to play the song from the group that I shared last night. Okay, at this moment, you are listening to the song. Ok, pónganle pausa a los que sí la están escuchando. Pónganle pausa a los que sí la están escuchando. Ok, voy a repetir la instrucción de esta actividad. Lo que vamos a hacer es que ustedes van a darle play a la canción desde el grupo. Ok, donde yo les compartí la canción y la van a escuchar ustedes. Ok, no la puedo tocar acá, no la puedo poner acá. Eh, por razones de copyright, ¿verdad? Entonces, ustedes la van a escuchar y luego de eso, que ya la hayamos escuchado, vamos a platicar confirmando información acerca de lo que oímos en esa canción en el chat, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo envié, yo envié una pregunta porque creí que habían escuchado todos la canción y les puse ahí, did she hear about someone she loved? Ok. Y entonces ahí pues ustedes contestan sí, sí o sí no. Ok. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. And then we start con the conversation on the chat. Ok. Ok. Got it? Ok, let's take the moment to listen to the song.
Okay, people asking questions on the chat. Everybody writing questions on the chat. Questions and answers. Teacher. Yes, tell me. We have to do the question and answer. Yes, it's okay. Chat. Yes, please. If you want okay. to add an answer, it's okay. If you just want okay. to say the question, it's okay too. We are chatting. Okay. Yes, it's true, Maria Fernanda. Mm -hmm. That's the song about, right? To find someone like the man she lost. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. She is heartbroken. Mm. Maybe she broke his heart first, right? We could call that karma. <laughs> yes. Rosa, go to the chat and write the question or answer the questions that you read there. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's sad. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes. Oh, yes, me too. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe, yeah. Like Don Juan, yes. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Why do you feel sad, Sylvia?
because the song is very really sad. Oh yes, the, the experience yeah. is really sad. Yeah, you you feel a pity for her, right? It's a pity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Poor girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. What are the wise words that this man used to say? She's with her, yes, yes, poor girl. Uh huh. Oh, yes, sometimes it lasts in love, uh -huh. but sometimes it hurts instead, yes. Don't forget me, I beg, I remember you say, oh, yay, she is um, begging, right? She's begging. How do you feel if you see someone that you loved and then you uh, break and then you see that person married very soon? How, how do you think you would feel about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you think? Okay, Maria Fernanda. Well, I think she thinks that she's going to find someone like that person. Like him. Yes, like him. Or what do you think? Ah, that's in the very deep. In the very deep, she thinks that she's not going to find a man like him. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, Rita. Oh, yes, of course. She, she is like in a revenge. Okay, yes, I'm going to find someone like you. You think you are the only one? No. There is a lot of, there, there are a lot of men like you, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. She remembered. Okay. Is that possible? What do you think? Is that possible? Is that a real experience, do you think? She was sad because <laughs> the man was every. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, soon too, okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's kind of mean, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that girl had a bad experience, yeah. Poor girl, teacher, I'm going to, to, to cry. <laughs> Are you going to cry? No, <laughs> if you haven't had dinner, go and, and have dinner, please. Don't miss your food, okay? <laughs> I never hear this song teacher, but it is very good. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, guys, I see that we have three minutes after 10. So I think class dismissed. Today is the turn for Maria Fernanda. So um, Maria Fernanda, you are you staying? Yes, teacher. Okay, then everybody, goodbye, and let's bye. meet us tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. Good night, bye. everybody. Do your homework, please. Remember. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm here. Okay, I'm here. there you go, Edward. Okay, bye-bye, Edward. Bye. Good night. Okay, night-night. <laughs> okay, night. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Bye, night. Good night, good night. Bye-bye, Walter. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, there we are, Maria Fernanda. Okay. I'm all ears. There you go. Just let me have some water. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me know, what are your questions? Um, um, I, bueno, lo voy a decir en español porque, para, que, para que me, me comprenda. Okay. Me confundo un poco entre los verbos irregulares y los regulares. Okay. Okay, regular and irregular verbs in past tense. Okay, there you go. Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Primero, cuando es un irregular, or the first, when you have an irregular verb, they change completely. The form, the complete um, spelling and pronunciation and everything, right? Tenemos diferentes, um, podemos decir así, tenemos diferentes maneras de diferenciar un regular de un irregular, pero regular quiere decir que no cambia, it doesn't change. ¿Qué es lo que se le agrega nada más a una terminación ed? What is different between some of them is the spelling, porque algunos agregan letras o quitan letras cuando los cambiamos a, a pasado, pero siempre mantienen el ed al final. Vamos a ver aquí, déjame compa déjeme compartirle. Oh, ahí está. Me voy a compartir regular and irregular. Okay. Do you have the list of verbs that I shared before? Do you have it handy? No. No? Okay. I will send it again, okay? I will send it at this moment. Okay. Because there you are going to be able to make the difference. It's very easy. Those that change completely, those are irregular. Those that don't change, but only ends in ED, when they are in past, then they are regular, okay? Let me send this list again. Y este, van a cambiar cuando se pregunte en pasado. Yes, exactly. Okay, there you have in the group, I sent a list. If you see, open the list. Open that list, if it is yeah. possible for you. Okay, there you have some, oh, you have a letter I in red, bold. So, bold. Right next to the irregulars. Let's see the difference. Please, let's go and see, for example, number one in the list, answer, right? Answer, it ends with ed in the past. Answer in the infinitive, simple mm -hmm. past answered, okay, with ed. And for example, the first irregular that we have, the b verb, right? B. It's irregular because it changes. And present, we have am, is, are. And in past, it changes because it is 
was and where. Completely different. So it's irregular, okay? When we ask a question, when we ask a question, or for example, when we use the didn't uh, word, the didn't word, let me share that for you. Let me share that. Did is simple past and was is uh, Ok, va. La cuestión es así. Cuando tenemos un verbo irregular, cambia completamente toda la estructura, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Toda la forma del verbo. Entonces tenemos que, por ejemplo, el verbo be que tenemos ahí en la lista, si se fija, tiene una letra I roja a la par indicándole que es irregular. Veamos por qué. Ah, porque en el, en el simple past... Tenemos que era was and were, ¿verdad? Was and were. Pero en el presente, ¿cómo era? Is, am, and are. Entonces, sí, son totalmente diferentes. Ahora, cuando vamos, el, el to be es muy aparte de los verbos, eh, decir los otros verbos, ¿verdad? Es muy, muy diferente en el sentido que cuando... Hacemos preguntas, ok, no hemos llegado a esa pregunta, ok, en temas, pero cuando llegamos a esa pregunta ponemos was y ponemos where al principio de la, de la pregunta. Ahora, aquí que estoy compartiendo, here I am, just one second, my girls are around, ok. One moment, please. Okay. Okay. There we have. <clears throat> Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Here we have an example. Okay. If you see this, uh, we're going to talk about different of to be for not getting confused. Okay? okay. So, for example, what is the infinitive of got? What is the infinitive? Ah, the infinitive is get, yes. okay? But in the negative way, we are going to use didn't to say no, right? To say no. En el presente, acuérdense que utilizábamos don't, okay? Ahora en pasado vamos a utilizar didn't. So, I didn't get. Esta es la, cor la forma correcta o la estructura correcta. Didn't makes that get is past. Okay. So uh, didn't and the infinitive always. Did it, didn't and the infinitive. Y eso es para los dos. Para regulares e irregulares es la misma regla. Cuando las pasamos a negativo. Ahora, cuando las pasamos a pregunta. When we ask using did. One moment. Let me get there. When we ask questions using did is the same thing. What are we going to do? We're going to use did at the beginning of this, the question. And then we are going to add the pronoun or the person we are talking about. And then, uh, I don't know, here. You see? And then we have the verb and infinitive too. Sleep is an irregular verb. It doesn't matter we, when we are asking questions. We just use did and the infinitive. Did you sleep? Okay. And then we have the you go. Go is irregular. So it doesn't have any problem here. We use did for regular and irregular. So let's see. Mm, listen. Listen is a regular regular because we say listened okay we just add ed but if you see is the same did you listen did you listen so we use did at the beginning and the infinitive right after the pronoun okay right after the pronoun okay now let's go and see 
the only or the the way to de to make the difference between regular verbs they end and ed irregular mm -hmm. verbs okay they change completely okay okay are we clear with that or do you need something else yes okay okay is there any other question that you've got um this moment uh, okay okay then this. okay are we okay with this yes good then let's meet us tomorrow in class and have a good okay. night maria fernanda good night bye okay bye